Hey, what is going on YouTube? Day here from MJ Tech. Today we're going to be checking out here the brand new Moto G stylus that I got from Amazon with the Prime service and this is the 2021 model. Do not confuse it with the previous year model which was a 6.4 inch display. This one carries a 6.8 inch display and of course much better specs in terms of camera, in terms of display, not just being bigger but also looking better and we have a 4000 built-in battery that is able to last at least two days that's what they are advertising if you go to the website down below on amazon you can see it right there so here we have a very simplistic box all the way around including the back side here uh, by the way this is an unlocked device it doesn't support 5g it doesn't have waterproof and it doesn't have wireless charging so we need to see exactly what we get here for 299 so there we go i just broke the seal for the first time i am providing today a true unboxing and the hands-on of this uh, particular phone so again very clean all the way around inside here we have the massive 6.8 inch device so this one uh, also has the snapdragon 678 and the adreno 612 for the processor uh, let's just set it aside here for a second and Inside we have a little divider where we have some manuals in here. Let's go ahead and uh, just show them to you real quick. So this is just a little quick uh, start guide, nothing very exciting. We know what the smartphone is and how to operate it by this uh, time, especially with Android. And uh, here we have a 10 watt charger. And uh, this is not the fastest out there in the market. And at this price point, I was a little bit disappointed to see that they didn't include wireless charging uh, and or fast charging. Uh, again, for the price, $299, I think it's a little bit hefty for not having that feature. And it is a USB-C device. And uh, yeah, it came with the cables. No earphones, no none of that. It is just strictly the phone with basically the chargers. And now here we have the moto g stylus the 2021 model and uh, let's go ahead and remove here this wrapper on the front here we have that 6.8 inch display it has 386 ppi it has a 1080p resolution it is an lcd panel we get here in the front also a 16 megapixel sensor we have the ear speaker it doesn't have stereo speakers unfortunately and uh, right here we have a very similar style of a stylus to the Samsung devices. It actually clicks and I have to admit it's kind of satisfying. It's like a very clicky button but it's really easy to remove. We get the USB-C port, the main microphone, the single loudspeaker and yes in 2021 we still have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack which is really exciting. Uh, on the side here we have the SIM tray and uh, this phone is entirely made of plastic except for the front that we have a uh, glass display so right here we can see the secondary microphone and towards the back is where things get a little bit exciting here in my opinion we have a dual flash with a 48 megapixel wide angle lens then we get an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle lens a 2 megapixel macro lens and a 2 megapixel depth sensor lens and uh, another exciting part about this device versus the 2020 model of the Moto G stylus is that now we have the fingerprint scanner here on the side instead of being on the back I think that's a very cool move it looks more futuristic it looks more advanced and overall it is just natural to just you know get your fingerprint red instead of having to put your finger all the time in the back sometimes uh, from other Moto G devices that I've had, it's kind of hard to you know get to the back. Sometimes you don't get your finger centralized, and it makes it just a little bit harder. But here it's kind of natural, so I do like that position quite a bunch. So let's go ahead and uh, see what this is all about. And by the way, where that fingerprint scanner is, is also your power button. So here we have the uh, boot animation, and this is carrying Android 10 with a skin from Motorola, of course. So very cool. And it comes with 4 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage. So what I'll do now, I'm going to set this up real quick. 
just play with it for a few minutes and I'll be right back. Okay, so here we have now the Moto G stylus almost all set up and ready to go. I went ahead and downloaded here the Antutu Benchmark just to use it as a reference. I do this with pretty much every budget phone out there just because a lot of us would like to see the score and compare it with other flagship devices. Now this one here didn't score what I anticipated that it would score unfortunately so it got only 185,000 a true flagship device in 2021 will score almost about 600,000 so this is a quite of a low uh, score but now I've been navigating through the system briefly here and it doesn't seem to be a stuttery phone meaning that it lags it seems to be quite smooth so far and uh, keep in mind that we only have four gigs of RAM so it doesn't have a lot either and uh, if you probably open a lot of application it might slow it down a little bit but so far it has been behaving quite well. So one of the first things that we're going to test here on the Moto G stylus is going to be the fingerprint. I already set it up and it does work very well here with the left hand. I did the middle finger and if we do here the right hand, it kind of becomes a very natural and it's super snappy as you guys can appreciate. So when it comes to the fingerprint, at least so far, based on this brief testing that I just did, it is working fantastic. Also here we have the uh, face recognition and that works well. And the only reason that you don't see a centralized here with the cameras because of course it's not gonna read it as well. But even like that, you can see how snappy it is guys. Super quick, it does work pretty much all the time. And again, this is after using it for about 45 minutes approximately. So on here we have what a lot of you guys want to see and that's going to be the camera. Now the camera here doesn't seem to be disappointing whatsoever. I know for a fact that it doesn't have optical image stabilization. However, it has something that not every phone out there has, which is 4K recording at 30 frames per second. Not every device at this price point will offer that. And uh, again, keep in mind that this is considered a mid-range phone and not a full flagship device. So when it comes to the recording resolution, I am quite pleased here. And uh, right now we can uh, see here that we can change the aspect ratio. I have it on three by four. And by the way, this is a 20 by nine display, uh, 6.8 inches, and we can go 9 16th and that will look actually pretty good but then we are cutting on the quality of the pixels of course so let's go ahead and change it here for now briefly to 9 16 and this is how it will look so if you guys can uh, see this here through the camera it's actually focusing very well the colors are quite realistic i mean it's a little bit more towards the I would say less bright side of it. It looks more like the background is beige instead of being true white as it is. But overall, it does a pretty good job. You have here the ultra wide angle lens and this is the 8 megapixel sensor. Then we have other uh, features. Like I said before, we have the micro lens and on here, I'm gonna try to show you that. So we have the depth sensor lens and that's for portrait pictures okay and of course we can blur it out so it is uh, doing so far based on what I see here a decent job let's go ahead and uh, shoot a picture let's view this picture and as you guys can tell here the portrait quality of it has been also uh, edited by the software itself and it did a pretty good job I mean this was just a quick photo so at least the depth sensor seems to be working great so far. So I was able to find the micro mode here and what I did is that I went to the pro mode and then on the very top towards the left side you're gonna see this little flower if you click on it. Uh, there we have the ultra wide. If you go the way to the right, that's the standard lens, that's the 40 megapixel and this is the micro one. So it seems to be working well. I mean, it's not uh, focusing that fast but based on what I see here, guys, I'm very close to this box and it seems to be doing its job quite okay. So at least on the camera side, it seems like things are quite promising. And of course, here we have the wide angle lens for the front facing camera. This is the uh, 16 megapixel sensor that I mentioned before. And uh, everything seems to be looking great as well. So of course it is expected with a 16 megapixel sensor at 1080p 30 frames per second, you should be able to take nice selfies and also nice videos. So, so far from the camera, comparing it to other budget phones, it does stand out quite a bit and keep in mind that it does have also a decent processor which is the Snapdragon um, Octa-Core 
678 and uh, that seems to be working okay i don't know in long term if it's going to remain this way but so far like i said it is working well now here on software i'm going to show you real quick that all we have right now is android 10. now i would assume that maybe in the future we can get an update to Android 11, at least at this point of 2021. I was a little bit disappointed to see Android 10 on here. I don't know why they haven't released either an update or uh, you know something that gives us the hope that we will get Android 11, like a notification or something letting us know that they are working on it. But yes, out of the box, you will get it with Android 10, in which in my opinion is a little bit disappointing. Another disappointing uh, aspect of this device is the fact that it doesn't have NFC and it doesn't have wireless charging something that I use on a daily basis like literally guys I have a wireless charger sitting right next to my nightstand and it just makes it so much easier just to sit it on there than having to plug it in all the time and keep in mind that if for some reason you do damage your charging port you have that second option of charging with this device that's not going to be the case so let's go ahead here and play a little bit with the pen and again very similar system to the samsung phones uh, it does have a rubberized uh, tip on here so let's click here and see what it can do let's try to let's see uh, this is for painting let's click on this one uh, maybe we need to select a color let's see if that's correct yes we can use this for coloring so on and so forth so yes the pen um, does seem to work okay let's go back home let's click on it and let's check here uh, the very first one let's see what it does and that's going to be a screenshot okay you guys just witnessed that and of course you can edit the screenshot and do whatever you need to do with it so again the pen seems to be working okay I don't have any major disappointments so far and I do like that little clicking mechanism. It makes it very, very uh, satisfying to click it. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but yes, it does work. Let's go here into YouTube real quick. I just want to see how the loudspeaker sounds. Let's click here on my own videos and let's put, uh, of course, my, that's not my name anymore, so MJ Tech. Let's see, I switched from my and J to MJ Tech just to simplify it a little bit. And uh, let's click here, this video about the lock, which hasn't been released yet. And let's increase the volume. Here at FCC, we put you What is going on YouTube? Jay here from MJ Tech. Today coming with the second version of the Eufy Smart Lock. In the first version, I did the unboxing and the review approximately 10 months ago. And today we are getting here the one with the rechargeable battery. So, so far, based on what I'm hearing here is that it is a decent uh, speaker. It does have some bass to it and it has clarity. But not having that stereo speaker, maybe because I'm so used to my iPhone 12 Pro Max, it makes it a little bit weird to listen. But overall, it does the job quite well. I don't have any complaints about the speaker on this particular phone, especially for the price at $299. But now, the things that I wish they did with this phone at that price point is include some maybe earphones, since we had that 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Second, wireless charging. And third, NFC. That would have made it absolutely competitive out there in the market. But we know we have brands like Pocophone and they are coming with very good uh, specs and uh, at a very cheap price. So we had to see whether or not this is worth it at $299. I would say that me personally, I will pay no more than $200. That will make it a steal. That's just my opinion based on the decent camera that we have on the backside. We have a very good selfie camera. We have a very decent display and a very good battery as well. So. Of course, uh, not every manufacturer is going to come with everything, uh, you know, perfect the way we want it to. But this one is just missing a little bit too much for my likes. And for that reason, I might have to say that I pass on it. But I want you guys to be the judge and let me know down below what you think here about the Moto G Stylus. Please guys, subscribe for more. Don't forget to click on that bell icon so that you don't miss new videos coming very soon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next one. Thank you.